Y'all, last time I got copyrighted for this song, so enjoy the silence. What's up, J-Fan? It's Jazz Ariana, and I'm back again with another YouTube banger. And as you can see by the title today, we're going to be talking about what you should and shouldn't bring to BNT because I know a lot of you guys have been DMing me, dropping in the comments, like literally reaching out to me, wanting to know, like, what do I wear or bring to BNT? So my advice to you is... To listen to what I'm about to say because I'm about to put y'all on so y'all don't be having too much going on at BMT. Okay? Okay. So, first things first. Clothes. When you go to BMT, you want to be in straight, comfortable clothes. Like, you do not want to be in no jeans. You don't want to be in no long sleeve shirt because you're going to Texas. So, it's going to be, now times out of 10, when you go, it's going to be pretty warm, pretty hot. So, you don't want to wear nothing too, too hot. You really don't want to bring, you probably want to bring one jacket, literally. I bought one Nike jacket. Um, you want to wear leggings, you want to wear workout pants. You want to bring stuff like that. So when it comes to quantity, I would literally bring about three outfits because you're going to only be in civilian clothes for about four days, including the day you get there. So I would bring four, just to be safe, bring four. I bought three, but bring four. Because you never know, laundry may be late, you just never know. So I would bring comfy clothes and um, all your clothes have to be plain. Like don't walk in there with no shirt that got too much going on. Like nothing like this, you know, nothing too much. You want plain white shirts. I literally went to Walmart and got me like four black and white shirts and some leggings. That's what you want to wear. Have comfortable shoes on because they will issue you shoes when you get to BMT. A lot of people said they didn't like them. I like them. So I used them because I was not finna ruin my Nike Pros. No, no. So I used the shoes that they gave me and they worked out pretty well. Like, it was good. So, yeah, definitely recommend bringing all your own comfortable stuff. Um, I forgot to mention in the beginning of the video, download the DEP app, which stands for Delay Entry Program. That is going to help you know everything you need to know before you leave for BMT, all your workouts, shoot, even the weather, what, how many days you got to leave, like literally everything you will want to know before walking into BMT. And if your recruiter didn't tell you about that app, that's a bad recruiter because everybody should know that app before coming into the Air Force, period. Okay, so we got the clothes out the way. Just comfy clothes, plain clothes, nothing that you really care about because stuff may come up lost, missing, ruined. So stuff that you really care about. Second, for the girls, hygiene products as in pads, tampons, liners. You're going to have times where you go to the BX to get stuff. So I would literally bring pads for about a week because you're going to buy stuff like that. So just bring pads, liners, and you'll be set. But I've heard that people are so stressed out in BMT that they don't get periods. Like a lot of my friends have never had a period during BMT, which is really weird. I didn't have a period in BMT due to other reasons because I was on birth control. Let's get you some tampons because during this time, hygiene is the number one thing. You do not want to stink. You do not want to be known as the dirty girl. Like, no, bring your stuff. Um, secondly, oh, don't pack too much though. Secondly, no, that's thirdly. Thirdly, um, stamps. Stamps was my biggest thing because I didn't know I was going to write that much in BMT. So literally on the Depo app, I like, don't have the Depo app. On the Dep app, they will tell you to not bring stamps because they're going to be issued to you. And that's a lie because I didn't get issued no stamps. I had to buy my stamps every time I went to the BX. And it's crazy because I'm not going away party. Literally, everybody bought me stamps. And I'm like, no, they're going to give them to me. No, I I'll leave them here. No. I should have bought every last single stamp that somebody gave me. Because it would have been very useful. And I would have saved $11 every time I bought a thing of stamps. Okay? Bring your own stamps if you want to write letters. Their products, I would definitely just bring a comb, a brush, and me. I like to do my edges. So, bring an edge brush because if you want your edges looking right in BMT, bring your edge brush but also bring a comb uh, a brush to brush your hair like a detangler brush and also bring a slick back brush because you're gonna have to have your hair in rags so you want your hair to be on flat flat like flat so bring a slick down brush i don't know like a hard bristle brush if you if you can you know you know what i'm saying so yeah for the girls bring brushes bring your own hair ties 
bring all the rest of because all the rest of will come in handy and bmt you gonna be going through so much you're gonna be forgetting where stuff at you're gonna be misplacing stuff losing stuff and you never know somebody might take stuff from you so bring extra hair stuff for sure because that is really important um lotion when it comes to lotion and all of that i would bring a travel size lotion at first because like i said when you get there you're gonna go to the store to they're gonna give you a prepaid card of 400 dollars that you're gonna be able to go and buy your necessities your essentials for every day so yeah so basically don't don't be bringing so much stuff like more of the story is don't bring a lot of stuff because you will have the chance to go and get that stuff hair gel bring like a travel size um, you don't need hairspray, you don't need all that extra stuff, you don't need hair oils, like, no, literally just bring what you need to put your hair in a bun. That's it. Ladies, for the eyebrows, I definitely recommend you bring your own razors and your own little shaving, what is it called? Shaving razor? I don't know. Bring your own razors and bring your own tweezers because those tweezers at the BX cost like $15.99. That's a lot for a tweezer when you can get them at the hair store for $2. So, Bring your own razors and bring your own um, tweezers to pluck your eyebrows because if you want to be on fleek and BMT, you want your eyebrows to still look good, you will have time on Sundays most likely to, you know, get yourself together. So definitely bring tweezers and bring your own razors. But um, when you bring shaving razors, um, I, don't, I really don't remember if they make you throw them out or not. I think they do. No, they don't. No, they don't. So bring um, your own razors so you can shave. Socks. I really wouldn't worry about socks because you get issued after. Okay, so after you get issued your OCPs and your blues and all of that, you're going to have socks for days. Like literally PT socks, OCP socks. Like I would literally bring about four pair of socks. That's all you need for them four days that you're not in uniform. Literally just pack for four days like act like you're going on a weekend vacation like pack for four days because i kind of overpacked and it was really irritating when i tried to go to tech school and i had all this stuff like they already give you so much stuff in bmt so do not overpack and you're gonna be straight because if you overpack it's just gonna be too much also for underwear buy the plainest cheapest ugliest underwear you can think of because i literally bought some pink underwear well victoria's secret underwear and i still wear them to this day but like you know those is kind of expensive and your stuff is getting washed with other people's stuff and you don't know what type of detergent they using so it's like just buy some cheap walmart underwear for like five dollars and then when you go to tech school you can order some cute you know victoria's secret underwear i used to work there by the way so i'm a big fan of pink and victoria's secret Oh, and when they do locker inspections, the MTIs are going to have to go through your underwear and make sure they're folded properly. So, yeah, they don't want to see no lacy thong underwear in there. Plain underwear, like plain black underwear. That's all you want to buy. First, you want to buy spandex longer than the PT shorts. Don't buy no volleyball spandex. Buy, buy really, really long spandex because you will have um, chafing on your, on your thighs because they have a liner in the PT shorts. And when you run, that's all you're going to feel. And it's going to get irritated. So I definitely bought spandex off of Amazon. I bought a three-pack for like $20. And it's all black. Because the color, only colors you can wear is navy blue, black, or white. But I definitely just recommend black because black goes with everything. So, yeah. But like when it comes to perfume and earrings, jewelry, leave all that at home. Because you never know. Something may happen. Somebody may take from you, steal from you. You may lose it. You may misplace it. No. It may break. No. Do not bring jewelry. Literally. I bought one thing and that was this ring because this is my parents. I'm not married. Okay. This is my parents' wedding ring. And when they divorced, my mom gave it to me and I never take it off. But I kind of finesse my way in BMT. But do not bring jewelry and do not bring nothing that you cherish and value because it will somehow some way come up broke missing not the same color it was when you got there like no don't bring any jewelry so basically just bring everything you need for four days and literally look the plainest i don't want to say it but ugliest stuff because you don't want to bring none of your good stuff at all and for the guys for the males i can honestly say just bring good running shoes. 
Um, you're gonna get issued underwear, so don't think you finna walk up in there with no hangs and fruit of the loom, baby. You finna walk up in there with some tidy whities okay? So you will get issued underwear, I know that for sure. Um, the guys is pretty easy. Just bring, just pack for four days and bring very, very comfortable, plain clothes and bring stamps if you wanna write. And literally they give you everything in BMT from a pen to a Sharpie to a notebook to everything you need. Like just bring stuff to wear, body wash. They will issue body wash. They will issue a loofah. They will issue you everything. That's why I say don't overpack because you will gradually leave with so much stuff to where you can't even pack your bag no more because you got so much stuff from being there for so long. So literally pack little. When you go to MEPS the night before, wear something you will wear at MEPS and your first day at BMT. I had on the same outfit for two days. I didn't get to BMT till two in the morning. So literally just wear comfortable clothes, wear a jogging suit, wear a plain jogging suit, get a jog suit from Walmart. Like literally, I'm telling you, do not overpack because you will be pissed. And having to carry that bag everywhere, that bag is your best friend. No, pack light. Pack the essentials, face washes, all of that. You will get all of that when you get there. Pack mini, pack travel, travel size, four day size. Do not pack this big bottle of shampoo and big long brushes and combs and stuff. No, they will have all that at the BX because they know that's what y'all need. So it will be there. Do not over pack. Okay, I'm telling y'all because I did it. I had 10 pair of drawers. Listen. You probably want to bring on around seven to eight pairs, like on average, because you're going to always have somebody doing laundry literally every day. You don't have nothing else to do to do laundry. So you're going to be getting your clothes washed very, very often. That's basically it for this video. I'm pretty sure I missed some key points. Oh, one more thing for my ladies out there that like to beat their face, have a full face of makeup, look so cute. No, you literally bring little, 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 little makeup. When I say that, I mean literally mascara and lip gloss. That's it because for your blues picture and BMT, if you don't know what I'm talking about, go watch my video for weeks four through seven. Your blues pictures when you dress up are nice and they be like, oh, you got two minutes to do your makeup. You think you're gonna have time to, to bake, to contour, to do some eyeshadow? No, you're not gonna have time for none of that. So literally bring some mascara, what I did. I bought some mascara, I put some lip gloss on, and I had a little bit of highlight and a little bit of blush. That's all. So if you wanna bring makeup, bring makeup for your blues. Don't bring makeup for an everyday, everyday routine because you will never wear makeup in BMT, ever, ever. No, it will never happen. It will be locked up in the civilian room. So literally bring what you think you will need for a blues picture, bring a little bit of blush, a little bit of concealer if you have a little acne, whatever. But you can have makeup, but it needs to be very, very little. Don't bring your whole vanity, okay? Don't bring your whole vanity drawer. But more of the story, pack light and you will do just fine to BMT. Do not bring anything expensive, nothing you really care about. Just act like you're going to jail. That's all I'm gonna say. But that's it for this video. If I forgot anything, I'll leave it in the comments. Or if you guys have any questions, DM me. You can leave comments. You can find me on Snapchat, Instagram. All of that will be in the description box down below. And you guys have been reaching out to me and I've been responding. So thank you guys for reaching out to me, asking questions. Don't be shy. I'm a very, very nice person. Y'all can definitely um come and talk to your girl because I'm willing to answer any questions you guys have for y'all. know I'm going to be honest with y'all. So when you ask me a question, don't, don't think I'm going to give you the... um sugar sugar coat version no i'm gonna lay it out on the line for you because i would want somebody to do that for me but anyways tap that subscribe button like comment do whatever you gotta do share this video thank you guys for tapping in and thank you guys for getting me to a thousand subscribers that's a milestone for me and i'm so thankful i'm so happy j fam y'all been rocking with me i appreciate y'all thank you for all the positivity and there's more videos to come and i promise i'm gonna try to be more consistent with this youtube stuff but i have a lot going on in the real world so I'm going to definitely try to keep, keep this YouTube thing going. Because what I said in the last video is we going up. And that's just period. J fam or no fam. What are y'all doing? Thank you. I'll see you in the next YouTube banger. Peace. <laughs> y'all, last time I got copyrighted for this song. So enjoy the silence.